Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is the preview and tutorial for the Summerana Smile Essentials Action Collection. So over here in my action panel, you'll see we do have a Don't Be Late uh, Smile Essentials Action, and this will do a quick overview of what we want to use. Um, we have other actions that are one by one. You might not need to be in a hurry, or you might want to do a more thorough uh, job on your smile. So we have actions that work on your teeth and your lips as well as around the mouth. So I would do a quick run through of each of these. This one is called Snow White. And you can zoom in closer. And you simply need to have a white soft brush so you want the hardness to be at zero. And you could paint in the black layer mask over your teeth. And this will whiten and brighten. If you mess up, change it to a black soft paintbrush and you can just erase it. Now this is not going to be perfect. I'm just going to do a quick run through. Again, it's not perfect. After you're done, you can go to floss. And this goes right in between the teeth. Because sometimes when you whiten, see right here, it gets kind of cloudy. You can go ahead and run through it and it'll darken it a little bit for you. And this is the blemish remover. This creates um, a snapshot if you are in Photoshop CS2 through CS6 or cloud and it will take you um, for each time it flattens it will do a snapshot just in case you want to go back to where it was before so the blemish remover you have to work in this layer it'll say work on this layer and you must have the healing brush tool selected Now what you'll do is hold the Alt key on your keyboard and select an area next to any blemish and then it will disappear for you. And you can use this for a lot of other little areas. It's best with small areas, so I like to use a small a small brush if possible. Sometimes that might happen if it gets too close to another area. You can just make your brush smaller. You can also choose, let's say if, if you want to get rid of these fine hairs, um, an area on a different part of her face, as long as it's relatively the same color. And it will smooth it out for you. Now if you don't want it to look too fake, or too smooth, you can always go up to this group layer and lower the opacity. You can also, in this layer mask, the white layer mask, which is the group layer mask, choose a soft black paintbrush. Let's say I want all of this to be at 100% opacity, but I want to lessen this. You can restart it, um, flatten and start a new group, or you can just lower the opacity of your brush with a black paintbrush, which erases, and then you can go over it and that will lessen the effect also. Another thing you can do is use the lip balm. Again, paint in the black layer mask with a soft white paintbrush. 
make sure your opacity is at 100%. I usually like to change the opacity on the actual layer versus the paintbrush just because you can go back and adjust this layer. You cannot go back and adjust what you've already painted on there. So select the layer mask and you can soften your lips a little bit. Again, you can adjust the opacity. The lip color corrector, I will show you an example of how that works. Sometimes you might have a subject with chapped lips or a different color um, area that you do not wish to have. I don't know what's going on here. I think she had her makeup over her skin. So I'm going to show you an example. You can choose a color in your lip area and you can go back and change it so it doesn't really matter which color you pick. Again, make sure your opacity is at 100% and just color over the area that you want of the color that you want to change. For best results, I do like to color over the entire lip just so it's for sure all the same color. And then that way, you can also change the entire color of the lip if you'd like by double clicking this box. Now this um, hue, and you can also see where you've missed, you can choose the hue layer or you can change the blending mode to color. And that one is also great for changing the lip color. You can also go to Lip Outburst. And this will add more contrast and then a little more pop. And another lip pop. going to change the opacity. Just gives it a little more pop. You can boost the lip color. To give her lips a little more color, you can open shadows. Uh, let's say her upper lip is too dark. Um, you can lighten lips, darken lips, enhance lip size. I will come back to that real quick. You can also sharpen details, paint with light. I'll show you how to paint with light really quick. This one, it'll give a little dodge and burn, so you can add more dimension to your lips. Um, you can go straight away and select the layer mask of your burn and um, select the areas that you wish to. Or you can also use the light guide, which is great when you can't entirely see it. It's a little guide to help. So you can see the shadows and the darkness um, in the highlights here. I like to do a little above the lip. And then you deselect the light guide. Make sure you don't flatten with that selected. And then you can see a before and after. Just gives a little more dimension. You can also adjust the opacity of the group layer if it's too much. You also have another lip hide highlighter. Just for an extra. Now back to enhanced lip size. I'm going to show you an example on her. Now what you want to do is click stop and select the L tool on your keyboard. 
this one select the lasso tool. Now you want to select and hold and trace around her lips. It does not have to be perfect. Then press play. Press continue and it enhances her lips and makes them bigger. Now you want to select a black color in your layer mask and erase the fine edges around her lips. This is also great if you kind of want to reshape her lips. Like let's say I didn't want that extra color. You can always just kind of reshape. It'll only go so far as how large your lips are. So you can see her old lips here. So if you want to adjust them completely, you can go to Enhance Lip Size, Custom Size. I'll show you how that works really quick. Again, press Stop and the L on your keyboard. Select your lips. Press play. Now you have a little free transform box. You can select the link up here to keep your proportions. Or you can hold shift down on your keyboard. Or if you don't want to keep the pr proportions at all, let's say you want to make them a little longer this way. You can just drag it. Press the check mark. Press continue. And again, make sure in your layer mask with the black pink brush. And erase the hard edges around her lips. And you can reshape them however you like. Now you don't want to make too big of a change because then it might look funny. But for little changes it works perfect. And there you have it. That is exactly how you do it. Um, let me bring you over to Photoshop Elements 13, which it works the same in 11, 12, and the only difference with this is it doesn't have group layers. So you just have to paint in the individual versus just in the group layers. So here you'll see This is the Brighten tool. You can go ahead and brighten your teeth and then just select Snow White and then that will whiten. So that's the only real difference in Photoshop Elements with this collection. And then here to make sure you have a soft brush you can go to brush settings and the hardness tool is right here. And then uh, you can choose the opacity of your brush here. You can go ahead and floss. Uh, let me show you blemish remover. This is the same thing. You just you break in this layer. You can see it says work in this layer. Again, make sure the healing brush tool is chosen. And here you can see where it says spot healing. You want to make sure the actual healing brush is chosen, not spot healing. Hold down the Alt. And you can get rid of any blemishes. Now I'm just speeding through here, it's not perfect. So it's the same thing. Um, if you want to change the opacity of this, you'll see this is the blemish remover layer. And then this is where it's actually blurring it for you. So the only thing you have to do here is if you change the opacity, just make sure they're both the same. So this is 90 and this is 90, 
for example, and then it'll have the same effect. Lip balm. Just going to soften your lips. You can change the opacity right here. Lip color corrector. It'll give you a color picker box to choose a color. You change the opacity up here and double click the color box to change the color. Lip outburst. For this, you are going to have to paint in each one, each layer. And you can also change the opacity of each lip pop. Change your opacity. Lip color. If you want to boost it. Open shadows, lighten lips, darken lips, enhance lip size. Again, press stop and select the L tool. Your lasso tool is right here in case if you need to know where it is. Select around your lips. Press play. Continue. And erase the fine edges. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check it out, it's um, available at summerada.com. And I hope your smiles will be bright and shiny.